The era of personal software is here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to very easily, without touching a single line of code, you can build three tools that a lot of businesses are actually paying for, like a thumbnail generator, product image generator, and even a LinkedIn profile generator. The beautiful thing here is that they're not gonna be subscriptions, they're gonna be your own tools that you can customize to meet your exact needs. Because this is the new future, in my opinion, of AI, the ability to create your own customized, hyper-personalized AI tool. By the end, you're gonna learn how to replace a lot of the subscriptions that you might be paying for and understand why getting ahead of this new shift matters now more than ever. So fundamentally, we're going to build everything that we talked about inside Google AI Studio. Why we're doing this is because Google's AI Studio is their own kind of vibe coding platform. And since the release of Gemini 3 and things like Nano Banana Pro, it is just an incredible place to build apps and they make it extremely easy because it natively integrates Google Tech Stack, all of the AI models, as well as a lot of these search functionalities, even things like Google Maps APIs. When you make an account on Google AI Studio, which I highly recommend you do, you'll be greeted with this home page. The first thing you need to do is to get an API key. Whilst you don't need you don't need an API key to generate an application, to use the smartest model from Google at the moment, you do need an API key, but you only pay for what you use. And I'm also gonna show you how to keep an eye on the costs here. So when you go to Google AI Studio, go to the bottom and get get an API key. You see that I've got a lot already. If you haven't, that's no problem. So you can go create an API key and name the API key here. I'm gonna use one for, uh, and you need to select a cloud project. If this is your first time doing this, you're probably not gonna have a cloud project, so you'll have to create one. Let me do one with you. If you never set up billing, this is going to prompt you to set up billing in your Google Cloud account. You simply put in your credit card details in there and you're good to go. I'm going to create key here. Once you create the key, you'll have an option here to set up the billing. I'm going to click that there and you need to select the, or you need to link the, this project that we just built to a billing account. I'm going to link to a billing account and I've got one here. I'm going to set. Once you connect it, you want to make sure that you have some credits in there. I've already spent a fair little bit of money here, but to be able to place in the payment details, you want to go to the in billing, in overview of the Google Ad account, which will be sent to. If you scroll all the way down, there'll be payment methods and payment settings. And of course, you wanna place a credit card in there. Again, it's not extremely costly running these tools, but if you wanna use things like Nano Banana Pro or Gemini 3, you will need to connect that to an API. So with that connected, we can go and start playing around with Google AI Studio. Let's create the first application and that is gonna be a thumbnail generator. Before we start even creating this, I want to customize this to my workflow. So when I create a video, for example, I already have the title and because I record it, I then have the transcription and from those two assets, I can then generate my thumbnail. So what if I could create an app that takes those two assets and just creates the thumbnail for me from idea creation to then generating the thumbnail. So that is exactly what I can do. I'm going to describe the idea and let's, I want you to hear this so you understand that I'm not kind of, it doesn't have to be perfect, but you do not need to describe it well. So here I want to generate a thumbnail, generate application that uses Nano Banana Pro for the image generation. The application should take the transcript of a video as well as the title as inputs. The first step should be to use Gemini 3 to recommend three or six thumbnail ideas uh, that will increase the click-through rate of the video. I'm just going to yeah, recommend six thumbnail ideas, not three or six, but six. Um, it should analyze these with the title and the transcript provided. After that, the user should be able to select a thumbnail ideas they like. You should click generate and also upload an image of yourselves. I wanna place myself in the thumbnail so that the person in the image is placed within the thumbnail as well. And I'm not even gonna, well, then you can go supercharge your apps with the AI. I'm gonna choose Nano Banana. I'm gonna choose um, in Google Search. I'm gonna choose Gemini Intelligence and a bit more intelligence, why not? You don't have to select the kind of AI tools that you want there. It should figure it out automatically, but I also like to kind of make sure it does it. So we need to give it a couple of minutes and then let's see what it creates for us. Okay, so now I have my tool. Let's try it out. I have the video title, uh, how zero click became more valuable than the top blue link that is coming out soon. And I have the transcript here. 
and let's see, generate six high click through concepts. So it should generate the concepts first and then allow me to pick the ones that I like. Okay, now I've got my six options. Um, ranked one is dead. This concept leverages the interrupt button. Sure, I think I like this one. Oh, okay, so I want to be able to select all of them at this, uh, a couple of the same time. So let's fix that. I like the design though. I like the design, but I want to be able to select a few concepts at a time, maybe up to three or four, and it will generate all of the concepts that I've selected at once when I upload the image of myself. And that is the beautiful thing about it. I don't need to know that code or go back and forth in this. That little change would take a developer ages without AI, and I don't have to worry about it. All right, it made those changes. Let's try again with the title of the video that I wanted. Let me paste the transcript that I've got right here. And then I want to generate high, uh, six high click through rate uh, things. So the beautiful thing about this is that I don't really have to think of the concept because I've got the title and the transcript and Gemini 3 Pro is pretty damn smart. So it's going to see, well, if that's the transcript, how do I create a thumbnail that's going to complement this to make sure that people actually click through and watch the video, which isn't the easiest thing to do. Okay, and now I'm getting to something more that I liked. Uh, I can pick the options here, stop trying to rank number one. I like that. Zero clicks, gold mine, Google versus the AI winner, SEO is dead again. Uh, GPT picked me. I like this one. Okay, continue with four. Great. Now I gotta upload a photo of myself. Let's use that one there. I'm gonna open that. Perfect, uh, 2K image quality is fine. And I'm gonna generate the four thumbnails. Let's see what happens. Okay, perfect. So I need permission denied, that's fine. Let's try and fix this. We're gonna auto fix it. And I like having the mistakes on the video so you can see that it's not perfect the first time, but you just kind of need to go with it and it should fix itself. All right, we did the fix again, and now I'm at the part where I need to select the options. Zero click trap, stop ranking number one. New SEO funnel, I like those ones. They're quite uh, quite good. Okay, I'm gonna click to upload an image of myself again. Great. Um, Apple quality, 1K is fine. I don't need 2K quality images. Looks like it's generating them now. Perfect. So all I had to do was connect it with my API key again because we're using Gemini 3 and Nano Banana uh, Pro or 2, whatever you want to call it. You need an API key there. Again, it's not too expensive, but you do need those. Okay. And within a couple of seconds, I've got the end of in search. I mean, that's pretty good. Zero click traff. I don't know why there's Bitcoin things here, but that's fine. The new SEO funnel. I like that and stop ranking number one. I honestly like all of them. Uh, let's download them and let's see how they are just close in. And it's actually me, my face. So let's take a look. That doesn't look like me so much, but that's okay. That one is a bit too fine, but that's kind of perfect. Yeah, I, yeah, great. I mean, well, cool. so now I've got my own um, thumbnail generator and it took me a couple of minutes to build. I, I think that's pretty amazing. Let's go quickly to number two and generate an application where I can create a lot of product images for one single product. The idea is that I can input the original product image plus the URL of the actual product itself so that I can understand what the product is. And then I can generate a lifestyle images or whatever I want, whether that's for social media or for ads or whatever that is. Um, so let's describe the app. I want to build an application where I can place the URL of a product and the app will create 10 images of the product in different settings to be used. You kind of get the idea. I'm going to click build. Okay, and after a couple of minutes, I get the professional product photography. So I need to upload an image of the product for visual reference. And then I also need to give it the URL. So let's try and find a product. Okay, let's pick this jacket here, for example. Uh, I'm gonna copy the URL. I'm gonna go here. Uh, that took three sec. Oh, that took maybe three minutes to create this application, by the way. Um, and it, let's see if it got it on the first go, right? And I'm just gonna save this image. Let's go back to my application. Uh, let's go to click to download. It should be on the, and then it gave me a few settings, lifestyle, outdoor, urban street, luxury. Let's go, yeah. Okay, lifestyle, nature, outdoor. That makes sense for a kind of a leather jacket. Oh, and you can see how it's working. 
It's analyzing the product. It's reading the website, so understanding the product and let's see what happens. Okay, and as the app is going, it seems to be building... Oh, we're getting the assets already. That's pretty cool, but we've got a few more to go. So let's see what... Oh no, it's building them already. Cool, cool, nice. Okay, now it seems to be done. Um... I mean, for obviously we would want a person wearing these and I could probably change the prompt to include that. But I mean, if we look at the original image, this one here, right? Let's keep that into mind. And then let's look at the ones that it generated. I mean, this one looks unreal. It gets the brand spot on. And let's do the outdoor one and check them out. Like, I think for an in-house team, that is pretty phenomenal. Okay, and now let's go and create the last one, which is the classic uh, LinkedIn profile image generator that we've seen um, that is probably going to die. <laughs> They're all going to die because we can create our own. So let's go for it. Let's create a LinkedIn profile image uh, generator where I can upload an image of myself or the user can upload an image of themselves and it will create uh, five studio image profile shots of the subject. Uh, wearing a suit or wearing a nice shirt, something that would be very adequate for a LinkedIn profile. I'm not even gonna select the AI model, I'm gonna let it do everything for me and see what happens. Okay, after about 197 seconds, uh, we've got our first application. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna drop in uh, an image here. Yep, oh, and it's starting already, okay. Wow, let's see. Uh, let's see the results that we get. And then we have it. Here are three images. Prob the one that looks most like me, I think, is this one. So I'll probably want to upload maybe uh, three to four. That actually, that looks fine. So never mind. Uh, but maybe you want to upload more uh, training images of yourself, but you get the idea. We spent, I don't know, close to 15 minutes. We created three applications that we would genuinely use that some people are paying subscriptions for and you no longer have to worry about it. The key here is to don't be, not be afraid of experimenting, right? A couple of dollars can get you a long way with Google AI Studio in terms of what you do. And I think the power comes to those people who know how to master, not even master, know how to build simple applications with something like Google AI Studio. You can save yourself so much money from understanding that you can build your own tools and really the sky is the limit. It's up to your imagination in terms of what you want to do. If you need a little bit of um, inspiration in what are the ty types of apps that it can create, you really should browse the app gallery. There are some amazing applications in here, um, not only websites, but like, you know, um, personalized comic book generator, very much. Uh, apps that I can build, even like 3D games. So my whole thing here is experiment. And if you're going to buy a subscription, just think first, hey, can I build this on my own? Now, before I let you go, there's one last thing that you need to understand how to do. And that is, how do you publish this thing so you can use it over and over, or you can give it to your team members. The last thing you wanna do is go to deploy app up here. You need to select a cloud project. I'm gonna select this one. You select on deploy application. That's going to give you a URL that you can share with people. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is that anyone with access to that URL will be able to use your application and therefore use your API credits. They don't have access to your API key, but if they really like your application and use it a lot, you'll be spending a fair few credits. So you wanna keep an eye on those credits in your Google Cloud account. And here I've got the application, for example, the app, I can click that. And now I'm gonna to go to a brand new tab, hit enter. And you can see here that I can see the app. Now, the next thing that a lot of people are wondering, well, how do I get traffic to this? How do I monetize this? That's a whole different perspective. But if you want to learn how to actually still generate traffic from the AI search engines, which is changing drastically, I highly recommend you check out our three hour SEO tutorial. I know it's long, but take it one step at a time, but it'll teach you everything you need to know on how to rank in AI search and how to get traffic still whilst it's lower. It is incredibly powerful. If you figure out how to get traffic from the AI search engines, I'll leave that video in the screen right now. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments.